This looks like a Dreamcast, but it's actually not, as you can probably tell by the amount of cables going in there. Um, one of them is connected to this monitor, and when I'm powering up, as you can see it starts and we should get Windows 7 in a moment. There we go. So what's actually inside here is just a mini ITX board um, with an AMD APU uh, running with the uh, boxed cooler that came with it. It runs actually pretty cool. And other than that there's only a small SSD inside, nothing more. Because there wouldn't be any space at all you have a look how tiny this little plastic box is. That's the actual power consumption at the moment. We're at 21 watts. 20. Not bad. Not bad at all, I'd say. <clears throat> so that's what you can do with a broken Dreamcast. Build your own little PC. I forgot to show you some stats. Here we have the temperature. Voltage. This is what CPU Z gives me. There it is again. This power button doesn't work. Unfortunately, um, first I wanted to put this uh, power button directly underneath, but since I don't have any tools to glue plastic together, I went the easy way and made it just like this. So it's not perfect, but it does the intended job and uh, that's all that counts.